we're all gonna hit bad shots out on the golf course. Doesn't matter if you're a tour pro or a 30 handicap, it's gonna happen. But it's important to understand why that happened. And looking at our divots is one way to figure out what we did wrong in our golf swing. Now we see this a lot of time on tour. If guys hit bad drives, uh, you'll, they'll, you'll see them looking at their driver. They're trying to figure out where their ball hit the face of the driver. Because sometimes that can tell them what went wrong. But if they hit a bad sh iron shot or an approach shot into a green, they're going to look at their divot too if they hit a bad shot. Because that's also going to tell them what they did wrong as well. Whether they're hitting the ball off the toe, the heel, what their path looks like, and you can even tell your dynamic lie of the club, okay? So we're gonna get into how we can tell if we're toe down or heel down, or whether we're over the top, inside out, whether we're hitting the ball off the toe or the heel, we can tell all those things just by looking at our divot. So if you're a player at home watching this and you're thinking to yourself, wow, I never really looked at my divot, to see what I what went wrong after hitting an iron shot, well then you're not using the divot to help you prevent bad future shots, okay? So first of all, let's talk about uh, the direction of the swing, okay? You can see here I have a divot in the ground here and it's kind of pointing right out there towards that big tree, which was just about my aiming point when I was hitting this shot here. So I can look at this divot and under my path was good because this divot is pointing directly at my target, okay? But if I sat here, okay, and let's hit a shot where my path, where my target is right in line with this divot, or let me just grab an alignment rod here for a minute. And let's just say this alignment rod here is my desired path or my desired target line. If I took a, a divot here and I swung over the top, you're gonna see that this divot is pointing left of my target line. So let's do that real quick. Let's swing one over the top. Okay, that was over the top, sliced. But we're gonna see that this divot here is pointing to the left here, meaning I'm swinging over the top. Now this divot pointing left could mean that I'm aligning left as well, but I knew my alignment was right there all that happened was I swung over the top. So if you're somebody who hits big slices or maybe even big pulls sometimes, you're gonna see a divot pattern more like this. That's, that's aiming out well left of your target. So if you're somebody who has a divot pattern that's left of your target, you're gonna know you're swinging over the top. Like I said, that's gonna lead to big pulls if you shut the face and big slices if you open the face, okay? Just the opposite here. If you're somebody who hits big draws okay, or somebody who hits big pushes, you're probably swinging too much from the inside out. So it's exact opposite here. That's my target again. Let's bring one away from the inside here. Okay, swung that one pretty far from the inside. This divot here is pointing out towards that house. Okay, and that ball drew a little bit, but it was a little bit more of just a push, okay? So I was swinging too far from the inside with too much of an open face. So we got three divots here. One was pointing directly at my target, one was pointing left of it, and one was pointing right of it. Okay, so we have a neutral swing path here, over the top swing path here, and a swing path that's too much in to out. Again, this swing path here could just be a result of me aiming too far right. Okay, I could have a neutral swing path that just aimed too far right, so maybe my alignment was off. So you can at least look at this during your round, okay, I missed that ball right, I can look at my divot here and say, oh wow, I know why I missed that ball right, because my divot is aiming to the right. My path is too much in to out. I know my alignment's right, but because my divot's right of my target line, my path is too much in to out. Okay, that's kind of divots 101, is basically where they are aligned. Now let's talk about whether we're hitting the ball off the heel or the toe, and the one way you really can tell this is especially when you're hitting on par threes or if you're hitting off a tee. Now there's times where you can hit off a tee and the tee will fly away, so it's kind of hard to tell. But when you're hitting a, out of, off a par three, you hit your iron shot, you take a divot and your tee stays in the ground, that's when you can really, really tell uh, a lot about your golf swing. You can tell whether it's in to out, in to out, you can tell over the top your path, 
but you can also tell whether you're hitting ball first, whether you're hitting behind the ball, and whether you're hitting it off the heel or off the toe. So let's take a look. We'll go to a little, little different camera angle. We'll come down here and we'll kind of show you with a tee in the ground what each of those positions looks like. Okay, we just hit our shot on a par three. Our tee stayed in the ground and this is what it's gonna look like to have a perfect divot. And this was gonna be a really, really good shot right here. Okay, the divot, okay, the swing path is telling us that it's perfectly in line with, we're gonna say this is our alignment rod and our target. The T is an inch behind where the divot started. And if you'll look, the T is right in the middle, okay, of the divot. So that means we had center contact, we hit ball first, and we had a great path. As long as the face was correct in this swing, we hit a really, really good shot. Now a bad shot here would be the divot or the T. Okay, it probably would fold over a little bit, but it still would be in the ground. But you're gonna notice that the divot starts an inch or two behind where the T is. So that's an indication that we hit ground first, ball second, we hit the ball fat, terrible shot, not good at all. Okay, so those are really pretty good indicators of your impact, whether you hit ball first, or ground first. Now the way we could tell whether we hit it off the heel or off the toe is if this T is just left of our divot for a right-handed golfer, this tells me that we hit the ball off the heel, okay? So the club came down, hits it off the heel, okay? Because our club is on this side of our T, we took a divot here. So if you're somebody who shanks the ball a lot, you're gonna notice that your divots outside of your tee mark. If you're somebody who hits the ball off the toe a lot, you're gonna notice that your divot, okay, is on the inside or closer to your body from where your tee is because again, your club's coming down at this angle here, hitting it off the toe, and your divot's here. So just by looking at where our tee was, again, the tee doesn't always stay on the ground on the par threes, but a lot of times it will, so it is important to take a look at that. If you don't have a tee in the ground, Maybe you can find a spot behind your ball that looks abnormal and you can look at your divot related to that spot because that's where your ball was. Regardless, on par threes, we need to make sure we're looking at our tees, okay? Now, we kind of learned how we can find whether we hit the ball first, ground first, whether we hit the ball off the heel or off the toe. Now, these are all things uh, comment below what your common issue is and I'll make videos on how to fix this But really today we're just talking about the divot and how we can understand What we did wrong in our swing and what our issues are to be fixed Okay, and we're not going to go into how we can fix every one of these issues It would just be too long of a video So comment below what your issue is and I will make a video to help that all right now We're gonna take two more swings here We're gonna try to get one where the toe is down one where the heel is down and I'm gonna show you the difference in the divots and what they look like. Let's try to get the hands really high here so I can get the toe to dig and to show you what that divot's gonna look like. Now I do struggle with a little bit of a toe down, so that's why my clubs are two degrees upright to help me with that. We'll talk about that later as well. So toe down shouldn't be too hard for me to achieve here. Let's try to make it just so we can really see here that the toe's digging, just for reference. Okay, I really tried to dig that toe there and I did a good job of that and I'll show you that in a second. Let's try to do one where the heel's a little more down here. Hands lower, heels down. Okay, really hitting some pelts here. All right, we're talking dynamic lie here. We talked the first one, toe down. What will toe down do? What kind of swing result are we gonna get or ball result are we gonna get from toe down? Well, toe down is gonna produce a shot that goes a little bit further right, okay? The more the toe is down, the more the face is gonna to wanna to send the ball right. That's why on shots that are below your feet, you'll find that they'll come off more right because your club is more toe down. Heel down is gonna produce a shot that goes a little more left. So a divot that indicates a toe down dynamic lie angle can be a reason why you're missing the ball right. What do I mean by a divot that shows that? Well, a divot for a right-handed golfer that has a deeper dig on the toe side than it does the heel side. So this shot here that I really dug the toe, 
you're going to see here that I got about an inch of dig on the right side, but on the left side about a half an inch of dig. So that tells me that my toe is down, which is going to tell me reason why, one of the reasons why I'm missing the ball right. Just the opposite here on this side, we dug the heel a little bit more, and you're going to see here on the right, this side, that this divot on the left side is deeper than on the right. So if you're somebody who is missing left that day, you can take a look and say, wow, I'm really digging the heel. Maybe I need to set up a little more upright to help with that. So I hope these tips on taking a look at your divots, studying them, understanding what you're doing wrong on the golf course helps you in your game. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, like I mentioned before, give me a subscribe. We're making a lot more of these videos to help you gain more knowledge and play your best golf out on the golf course. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.